the video that you just watched, or maybe you're going to watch again, is uh, We Are All. And it's a project that's been in the works for three years now. We Are All is a, a song that's written by a beautiful person. It's about a beautiful project where people are coming together from all walks of life as we are all. And the purpose is to humanize and maybe elevate the social consciousness that when you go to all these different places, you find that we are all. The, the, there's so many underlining stories as this song was written for a bigger uh, audience. We decided to go to Rio, New York, San Francisco, Dallas, Phoenix, London, Oxford, and in every place we found that we are all. When we went uh, deeper into the story, we got to meet some of the people and we found that within them, they were telling us we are all. And those were some of the less fortunate, some of the people that you find, you want to call them dumpster divers or homeless or galactic pirates, yet all at the crossroads. And when you find someone at the crossroads, there's some transparency there that we don't often share with others. Digging a little deeper, you find a pearl like an oyster. And so our hopes was in sharing you this journey around all these different places. After you got finished watching it, you would find that we are all. I'm excited to also tell you that half of the video that, that we have and that's been shot has been taken by those that were depicted in the in the film, meaning that much of it was shot by homeless underneath the bridges and the shelters in their camps. Um, they would check out the camera, bring it back, decided to be able to do their part. When you're watching the video, you'll see the split screen and it, and it provides you two different things to choose. William Greaves uh, to put out a film in 1968 where he put two screens up and it was ahead of its time. I'm very familiar with things that I watched as a child. And using dual screens, you have stills that are flipping and telling this progressive story. And you have video that is flipping at the same time, providing the viewer to pick one. So I encourage you to watch it more than once. When you do watch it, some of the underlying stories is uh, a man named Bill. Uh, there's a photograph of him next to a, a, a wall that says, Jesus loves you. And uh, then there's a photograph of his face up close and one of him lying uh, underneath the truck. And then there's a woman that holds up his photo and you can see her lips say, I love you, Bill. And he uh, lost his life the day before he was approved for housing. Yet he was somebody that was in my life 17 years ago and when I needed housing as CPS was removing me from my home, he was served as a guardian. It was just kind of amazing how the universe works and put people back in your lives. And then there's a story of uh, uh, some people in uh, different parts of the world that I've come in contact with. There's, a, there's several stories. There's a story of a man named Nate, and Nate's taking some change, and he's, he's going through it in his hand. He's sitting inside of a 200 square foot apartment in San Francisco. When I first met him, he was living on the streets, and now he's part of a progressive program to help the homeless. And, and so when you're watching and you're listening to the, to, to the music and you're watching these places, it's not just in America, but it's in South America and Europe and, and all of these different samples of societies. There is a common denominator. And uh, there is some humanity and some consciousness that uh, the music is meant to reveal and embrace you with, and that the images are hopefully going to help to convince yourself of the truth. And one of the things I was hoping that you could leave with is that's what is available all around us, that we all are all. We all can have a, a great impact on each other's lives, including those that are the less fortunate, including those that are stereotyped to be not like us. Yet they uh, hold some things that have, I think, made me a better person today. David came into contact uh, with me through a friend uh, at an event that we were holding. I think it was a second annual uh, homeless musical art show. 
to raise proceeds for a ministry in town that is currently doing a building to house the homeless. And uh, he came back to me after that and said, hey man, we got this song. And uh, we're gonna do a video. And I was like, I, I don't know how to do videos. I just take uh, still photographs. And then uh, a couple years later, things proved to be different. I believe that the, the, the sound of reggae allows us to rejoice and come together under what we're familiar with, with oppression uh, that people have. I, I love the sound of reggae because it's like a celebra celebration underneath uh, rough circumstances uh, uh, to be uncontended with. And uh, reggae is a mission music and, and this, is a, uh, this is a mission video. And so it works really great together. And uh, the way that David wrote the song, he said, listen to his message within it holds a lesson and within each one of these uh, people holds a lesson the one i praise to praises me back and i don't need no summoning for that just like in the lyrics we are all just one step away from that man on the street with no food in his mouth and no shoes on his feet it could be taken in two different ways like we are all uh, one step away of our, our destiny becoming that. Or we are all one step away in any direction and coming in contact with someone who's like that. No, no one's ever uh, cut it off with me, you know, I, I just, uh, because I'm, I'm getting old and I'm not, I, I never was particularly attractive, you know. It's, and uh, I, although I, I couldn't really get what I want, I, I, people would uh, fall in love with me, you know. Before I sat here, I personally have been able to experience being in two different social classes, one of the wealthy and one of the poor. And uh, I've experienced how people respond to me personally, being on both sides, and, uh, and going to different places and filming this piece. It, it's not the countries that are separating, separating us or the languages that are separating us. It's uh, the social classes and the, the fractured uh, belief system that we have that because somebody makes more money than someone else or because they have, they're more affluent that they're a better person than someone else. And I found this not to be true myself. The problem is, a lot of these people, uh, they'll, they'll try to get started and some of them will get started and move, like say, uh, move their lives three steps forward and they, they, they turn around and let their friends pull them back nine steps. So basically, I guess they're uh, still six steps behind now. After watching the video, it wasn't something made so you can go, oh, that was a beautiful song, or those are pretty pictures. It was more so you could say, uh, okay, so what can I do? Or uh, what's my part in it? Or, and uh, that's what we wanted you to leave with.